Hello there, this is Mouse of Power Supply and current or amp display. Uh, you might have seen a video where I put this together and this is a bit of a special case and uh, I have some questions or people have asked questions how to connect an amp and voltage display to basically any power supply. So let's talk a bit about that. This is just a general discussion. I do not have a display to show up, but uh, let's talk about it. Uh, now we're talking about there are a bunch of these from China. This is like a display and only double which volt and amps and you have your little numbers in some order. Uh, yeah, very cheap and easy and if you're gonna buy these uh, read the reviews because uh, some of them are not that reliable and do not show the best values but Okay, they cost basically nothing, so you get what you pay for. But uh, if you can connect these, most of them, you can connect them to the power supply, but you have, if you see my video, you saw the problems I got when I put this together and with short circuiting backwards. So basically all of these come with two wires where you feed them some type of voltage 5 volt 10 volts uh, some of them can take anything from 3 to 28 volts vcc let's call it that that's the power that powers the display itself it has nothing to do with the measuring otherwise it's just that you can pick that from an external source a battery battery eliminator or anything you want that's the easy part now it comes a bit more complicated and this is just general information check your manual for your meter which colors the wires are and so on but this is a bit how it most of them are connected what i can find you have well, we have our little power supply up here with positive and negative and if you check on your current meter normally it's a thick black wire why it's thick we're going to get back to later and that's, you're gonna connect to the minus. So that's the black one. And it's a thick wire. Uh, the positive for your power supply is you're going to out and it's going to your load. Whatever that is, so if it's a lamp or whatever you're connecting over here. That's also all the current flowing. And then uh, you have another wire and that's on the ones I have looked up. A red one so you see I connect the red one to the negative side of the load here so it means I'm measuring current on the negative side of the load and as I discussed in the other video remember that all the current that runs through your load is running through your meter and back here I might say that there also some meter with an external shunt resistor I'm not talking about those right now because if you have that you have really high currents and if you don't know what you're doing you're gonna burn something. So now we have a current measuring setup. The current is flowing here through your load, through your meter and back to the power supply and out again. And then you have one more wire, or wire sorry, uh, that's the voltage sensing wire and it goes from here up to here and the versions I've seen it's normally yellow or green and it it might be a thick wire because some of the manufacturers are just using the same wires for these but it might also be a thin wire because there's no current here flowing here it's only voltage measuring so what it does it multi measures the voltage between black and yellow or green that's your voltage display and the current is measured by the current that's flowing through here so check the specs on your current meter and if you are uh, want to be do not want to destroy a current meter you might want to put in a fuse somewhere to protect your current meter so don't blow it or and protect your load of course so i hope this is helpful for some of you out there and Fill up the comment section with uh, your experience and mistakes. Have fun.